The last remaining patients moved today from the old Mercy Hospital at 144 State Street. The Sisters of Mercy tended to the sick and disadvantaged since 1941 when the hospital was built. Jill Flaherty has been a nurse at Mercy for 25 years. Three of my children were born in there and taking pictures of the doors where my children's life came into the world. Today, she's snapping pictures of the stained glass windows, feeling sentimental as the place closes for good. This is such a big part of my life and my nursing career. I, words can't describe it. Two local developers, New Height Group and Redfern Properties, bought the building in 2020 and have big plans to redevelop the brick facade. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel back this building to sort of its historic core. So the emergency wing and the radiology wing, you see the, the James and Josephine Healy wing here, will both be demolished. Rendering show what it will look like. What we're building here is 165 apartment units in the main hospital building, uh, along with uh, three or four retail suites, including a great cafe space with outdoor seating. Uh, we're also proud that Mercy Hospital is going to continue to run a clinic on the ground floor on Spring Street here uh, in, in the old hospital building. So these will be apartments for rent, studios, one bedrooms mostly, with rents ranging from, say, $1,300 a month to $2,000 a month. The developers also sold two parcels along Winter Street on the back side of the hospital to Community Housing of Maine, which has plans to build 40 affordable housing units and another 50 units dedicated for senior housing. Over where the hospital parking lot now sits. And here on this side of Spring Street, uh, we're building nine really high-end uh, single-family row houses. The project has already been given the green light by the city of Portland uh, with all the necessary permits and approvals already taken care of. But don't expect to move in anytime soon. Converting an old hospital into 165 apartments is going to take a year and a half. In Portland, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.